Hey guys, Jennifer here and welcome to The Family Fudge. In today's video, the kids and I are going to share with you our RV morning routine. From where the kids sleep to getting ready for the day, I'll show you how we do all the things. And after that, we'll also show you some of the things we like to do for fun. Now go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you love routine videos. Hit that subscribe button if you're new and let's get on to the video. Now, of course, step number one is to wake up. Sometimes, if we're on a road trip in the RV, we will wake up early. That way we can get on the road. But if we're at a campground, we like to sleep in as late as we can. Well, everyone except for Mackenzie. She is definitely my early riser, so usually she'll already be up, and she usually just sits quietly and plays her switch, until everyone's awake. Now, you might think that breakfast would be the next step, but it's not. Step two is... To tidy up the RV. That way, we can have breakfast. This RV is not super spacious, but I do my best to make it as comfy and cozy as I can. So that means lots of blankets and lots of pillows. In fact, it's because there are so many and because the girl's bed turns into the table that we need for breakfast that it's become our rule that there is no breakfast until we get it all put away. Putting everything away is definitely a job that I could do myself, but I really try to involve all of the kids and I try to get them to work together so we can get this done faster. During the day, I like to store all of the bedding and the pillows in these super helpful collapsible laundry baskets. Now, I found these at Sam's Club and they are the perfect way to keep everything up and out of the way. We just keep them on the top bunk because during the day, we're not really using the top bunk. And then of course for the table, that's a little bit more tricky. So my husband puts that back together for us. And I know a lot of you asked about the seat belts in my last RV video. The seat belts are actually in this area too, but of course while we're sleeping, we just tuck them away. Once that is all done, it's time for step three which is to make breakfast. If we're on the road traveling, breakfast is something quick and easy. So bagels, cereal, things like that. Since on this camping trip, we were actually staying at the Disney Campground Fort Wilderness, I had to make these Magic Kingdom waffles for our breakfast. Now I call these Magic Kingdom waffles because they are pretty much the same thing you can find near the castle in Magic Kingdom, except I I go ahead and use toaster waffles to make things easy and I don't slather the waffles with Nutella. I just add a tiny bit. Then I top these waffles with fresh strawberries, blueberries, and bananas. And then on top of that, I add just a tiny squirt of whipped cream. This is definitely a special occasion breakfast, not something we have all the time. To go with these waffles, I also heated up some egg and cheese muffin cups. One of the things I like to do before we go camping is a little bit of meal prep. And these egg muffins are perfect to make ahead. On this day, the weather was so nice and there weren't a lot of bugs out. So we were able to take our breakfast and eat it outside, which is definitely helpful because it doesn't make such a big mess in the RV. Step four is to clean up after breakfast. With a small space like this and with so many people, it's really important for us to clean as we go. That way, the space doesn't get all cluttered and dirty and overwhelming. I do have to say though that one of the great things about the Magic Kingdom waffles and the pre-made muffin cups 
is that cleanup isn't so bad. There's not a ton of dishes or things that I need to clean. Our campsite has full water hookups so I can do all of the dishes, no problem. And I just leave them to air dry for a little while. Step number five. Which is to get dressed. Now I've tried a couple of different ways to organize the kids clothes in the RV, but so far my favorite way is to use these two different hanging organizers. The white one is from Ikea and the smaller gray one is from Amazon. I definitely try not to overpack when we go on trips because there's really not enough space. Basically with this system, each kid has their own larger cubby for their different outfits. And then in the smaller hanging organizer, that's where the kids keep their underwear and their jammies. Now for my clothes and for my husband's clothes, we each just get one basket of clothes because we are pretty short on space, but we keep our stuff separate from the kids in an upper cabinet. And then in this smaller closet is where I keep any jackets or any of my clothes that I like to keep on a hanger. Now with the kids clothes, I do like to fold outfits together in bundles ahead of time. So each little bundle has a top and a bottom. The kids can see all of their choices and easily pick out which outfit they want for that day. And you guys, when it comes to changing and getting ready, there's not a lot of space. So we pretty much change one at a time behind this privacy curtain, which is actually a shower curtain, but it works. And then as the kids are changing into their day clothes, if their jammies are still clean, they'll just fold those up and they'll put them right back in their cubby until they need them at nighttime. Number six is to fix hair. Now it's during our bedtime routine that the kids take their showers. And since the shower in our RV is tiny, we like to use the bathhouses at the campground instead. And you guys, the bathhouses here at Fort Wilderness are actually really nice and very clean. After showers, I like to take a little bit of extra time to condition the girl's hair to get all of their tangles out, which sometimes takes a long time. And then I like to put each girl's hair in a braid to sleep in. Doing it this way really makes things a lot faster and easier in the morning because all we have to do is take out the braid and then brush it out a bit. I usually help Lily with her hair. She's been growing out her bangs and as you can see, they are super long. So I definitely need to put those in a ponytail to keep them out of her face. But then Mackenzie, she's old enough now that she prefers to do her own hair. Now after that point, we totally believe in the camping hair, don't care phrase. And that just means we're pretty much done. We don't do anything fancy or elaborate with the hair. If we were going into one of the Disney parks, the girls would go ahead and pick out which Minnie Mouse headband they wanted her that day. But if we're just hanging around the campground for the day, we like to go with hats. Now, as you can see, the girl's hair was pretty easy, but the boy's hair is even easier. They don't even really need to brush their hair. It's already clean because they showered the night before. So they just pick out which hat they wanna wear and then they're on their way. Seven, brush teeth. This step is pretty self-explanatory, but I do like to keep all the toothbrushes and the toothpaste in this one compact holder. It fits everything perfectly, but since our RV bathroom doesn't fit everybody perfectly, we just end up brushing our teeth one at a time. Step number eight is to have fun. Our first activity for this morning was to decorate our golf cart. The Disney campground 
campground is ginormous. So one of the best ways to get around the campground is by a golf cart, which you can rent there. Now, because there are so many golf carts and they all look the same, it can be kind of tricky to find yours amongst the sea of carts. Adding a few decorations to your golf cart is a popular thing to do. For this trip, I just picked up some simple lays from the Dollar Tree, so I kept things nice and easy. But it's always so fun to see all the different ways that campers decorate their carts. Some of them get pretty elaborate. Next up, a little bit of shopping. At this campground, they have two stores where you can buy lots of the same souvenirs that they sell inside the Disney park. At these stores, you can also find lots of food items. That way, if you forgot an ingredient or if you ran out of something, you can buy it here and then take it back to your camper. carry some RV and camping gear as well, which is really nice because RVs take a special kind of toilet paper, which we were almost out of, and I was able to just come to the store and get what we needed. It definitely was convenient. Now, we do visit the Disney parks pretty often since we live close by, but we don't usually buy a lot of souvenirs. Since this was our last day at the campground, each kid got to pick one thing from the store. Okay guys, do you want to show me what you picked out? Mm -hmm. All right, what'd you get, Kenzie? I got two of these little wishables. Ooh, Mickey and Minnie, and Minnie. nice. And I have this Alice in Wonderland fan right here. Ooh, does it actually work? Mm -hmm. Does it cool you down? Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, Griffin, what'd you get? I got the IC card. Ooh, Toy Story. Mm -hmm. And what'd you get, Jackson? Jackson didn't get anything from the store. Instead, he decided to go mining. So let's see what you got. Whoa. <laughs> Let me see your biggest piece. That is huge. Very nice. It can't fit on your whole entire camera. <laughs> and there was what else? Rocks and shark teeth in there? Uh huh. That's interesting. And that looks like soap. Very cool. Okay, Lily, what'd you pick? First, I picked a Disney Pike Pal. Nice. And who is that? Uh, it's a stuffed animal. It's called Pegasus. Oh. No idea what movie it's from. Uh, Fantasia? Never seen that before. But it's cute. <laughs> and it came with a little baby blanket. But what's her name? Do we know her name? Uh, Girl Stitch. Girl Stitch? I'm not sure what her name is either. And I got myself the Disney set of cookie cutters. I have some fun lunch ideas and I'm hoping to make with these. These are so cool. And then of course, we absolutely love the pool area at this campground. Unfortunately, the water slide is closed right now, but it was still really fun. We pretty much spent the rest of the day at the pool. Thanks, Thanks for watching. See you next time.